Okay, one of the top questions I, I always get asked is how to combine channels in Photoshop to, you know, reduce the amount of colors in your color separation. Now, although I go over this, you know, in the uh, Ultraceps user guide and it's included within the training video, you know, it's easy to, uh, you know, to miss these things. And um, just a side note, you know, this technique not only works with Ultraceps, but uh, it works when you're doing separations, you know, on your own or with some other uh, piece of software, whatever. Okay, well, in any event, on the left-hand side, we have um, the original RGB uh, shown here. And over here, we have a separation done uh, with Ultraceps using the uh, new Ultraceps SIM number three. Uh, function and as you can see they're very 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 close to one another however there's a few things that we can do to this separation to make it uh, easier to print uh, and the first thing we would want to uh, uh, address would be to reduce the amount of colors in the image now right now we have a white under base a yellow uh, a darker and a light blue a red a brown a gray a uh, highlight white and a black now, a lot of these colors we, we will need, but we definitely don't need two blues, okay? Now, if there was like uh, lighter aqua colors that are going into deeper royals uh, in this design, we would probably need the two blues because the light blue is more of like an aqua uh, in uh, Ultraceps. It's not actually just a light blue and a dark blue. But with this design here, we could definitely just do uh, one blue. And here's how we're going to combine them. First thing we need to do is, well, let, let's take the original uh, image out of the uh, picture here first. So we can just concentrate on this one. First thing we'll do is select the Royal Blue 300 channel, okay, which is the darker of the two blues. And make sure that is selected. Now we're going to go up to Image in Photoshop. And we're going to choose Apply Image. Now, when the Apply Image window opens, next to Channel, we want to select the light blue channel, the light blue 305 in this case. Because what we're doing here is we are applying all the data from the light blue 305 channel to the darker royal blue 300 channel. Next thing we want to do is next to Blending, make sure that Multiply is selected. And here's a very important setting, and this one is called Opacity. This is at default set to 100%. Now, you don't necessarily need to add 100% of the data from one channel to another to combine it. Sometimes it adds too much. In this case, 100% will be fine, but, you know, this can be changed. As you can see, you know, if I keep backing that off, this keeps getting lighter. Now let's bring this back up to 100 and click OK. Now what we've done is added all of the data from the light blue channel to the royal blue. At this point we could select the light blue channel and we could drag it to the trash can and the channels palette and delete it as that's no longer needed. At this point what you might want to do is um, to take a look if the blue in the separation is matching the blue in your original because how simulated process works is that colors mix with one another to create even more color now if we bring the original RGB back into the image you'll see that just that royal blue 300 is much darker than the blue in the original so how do we change that well that's pretty simple all we need to do is to change the color of the channel itself, which really doesn't affect the separation. So just double click the channel, which will bring up the spot channel options. Leave this solidity setting at 10%. Uh, it's a good idea not to, not to adjust those, uh, at least with an ultracept separation, okay? Because these are made so, these are set so the separation renders correctly on screen. So after you double click your channel, spot channel options will come up. Click the little color chip here and your color picker window will appear 
and you could change the color of that blue, as you can see, to more closely match the original. Once you get a color that's close, you could click OK, and then click OK again. Now if you'd like to get an idea of what PMS value this is, we can go back and double click this channel again, click the color chip, and click color libraries. And you can see that it's giving Pantone 2727. And that would be the closest Pantone color match that, that Photoshop sees that matches that color. We'll just click cancel. And now if you want, you could go back and you could change the name of this channel you know, to blue 2727. Now, a lot of times I don't like to use the color books in, uh, in Photoshop. Um, a lot of times uh, when, I, when you select actual PMS values from the color books in Photoshop, uh, they could look a little bit muted and washed out. And uh, also, Pantone is constantly updating uh, their colors. And using Pantone values from Photoshop's color book could make a separation, uh, generate an error in a uh, previous version of Photoshop where that Pantone color is not available. So I just usually use color picker channels and uh, a uh, Pantone color book and uh, just type in my own uh, you know, color here for the channel. All right, now let's take a look at something else. Now there's a brown in this uh, separation. Now there's not much ink in the brown, okay? But it's kind of important. It, it sort of defines the um, edges of the flames here. And it gives a little bit more definition to the uh, image itself, but you really don't want to uh, run another screen just for this tiny, tiny bit of brown, okay? So what we're going to do with that is we're going to add some of the brown to the red channel and a little bit less of it to the black to try to get close to this effect, okay? And here now we'll leave the, we'll leave the original open to the left uh, of us so uh, you know, we can get an idea if we're doing it correct or not, okay? So for now, let's shut the brown off. And now let's click the red channel and let's go to Image apply image okay and now let's select the uh, brown 471 and multiply and turning the preview on and off you can see the effect it has and let's not add a hundred percent of it let's cut this back to maybe about 75 or so and click OK now we're getting closer to what that original looks like now let's click the black ink channel, go up to image, apply image, and what we're going to do with the black is we're going to add a little bit of the brown data to it. Now let's select brown 471 and multiply, but now you see with opacity at 100%, it's way too dark. It's just killing everything. This would print horribly. Let's cut this back to about 20% and see. Turn the preview on and off, and maybe we can go with 25. And by turning preview on and off here, you can see, if you look closely here, let's zoom in. You can see if you can look closely in this area, the effect that that's having on the artwork. Okay, so let's click OK. At this point, we can now uh, select our brown 471 and trash that. Okay, now there are some other colors that uh, Ultracept Sim number 3 did pull for this art, which we don't need. So the green 354 is void. We can get rid of that. Uh, there is no magenta, so let's get rid of that. All right, it did see a little bit of flesh, okay? But basically, this is kind of, uh, basically is, is just kind of double picking a lot of red, okay? So we, if we added this flesh data to the red, we would wind up with uh, a separation that is way too dark. And I'll show you what I mean. 
let's turn off the uh, the uh, the red uh, the flesh channel here and let's uh, select red let's turn off the shirt background for a minute and we'll go to image and we're going to go to apply image and we're going to select that flesh to add to the red and as you can see it just killed it it just turns that red into solids and even even cutting it back a lot is not a good idea because uh, this is too much red red you always got to be careful with because what you see on screen is normally uh, a lesser extent of what you're going to get on press okay so we're not even going to bother with using the flesh channel at all with this design so let's get rid of it and we can get rid of this one under base here for blacks because we're going to print this on a gray t-shirt so now we're left with a, a white under base a yellow a blue a red a gray a highlight white and a black now this will print absolutely perfect just like this okay now now here we got one two three four five six seven colors now this is fine if you have an eight eight color press but maybe you only have a six color press so what do you do at this point well of the obvious choice is getting rid of the gray or possibly the highlight white uh, I would probably try to keep the highlight white and maybe get rid of the gray. Now, what can be done here is the gr some of the gray data can be added to the black. But you need to be careful with that. If you add, because basically, halftone black does not equal gray, okay? Gray ink will make gray on a t-shirt. You know, 10, 15, 20, 25 percent values of of black half tones do not look gray even though they do on screen all right but we can probably add just a little bit of this gray to the black ink if you, you you know if you need to omit it so let's turn the gray channel off let's select the black uh, let's go to image apply image and let's select the gray 428 multiply again and let's just bring this down to about 20% preview on and off and that that should work just about right that that'll add just that little bit of extra contrast uh, that you're going to need because you're really not looking to make a gray uh, between the black and the under base and uh, the highlight white okay and then just with that little bit of half toning of the black in there you will get this metallic -y type effect on your shirt so now let's click OK and now let's select the gray channel and we're going to delete that and now we're left with the channel uh, a separation with one two three four five six channels and it's a relatively complex separation uh, that can that you know most screen printers will um, have success uh, printing with because you know most uh, most of you out there at least have a six color press and um, if you look um, next to uh, the video icon on our website there's a download link to download this file okay so uh, you could download this uh, menifier strength of honor file in high resolution as an rgb file and you can play around with it yourself and uh, and that's it as far as combining channels and we'll be putting up other videos soon of uh, working with other aspects of channels with uh, t-shirt color separations using adobe photoshop thanks a lot